Jeff Chan from MA Traded, and you're watching episode three of Sparring Breakdowns. Please continue to comment below and let me know what you think. Quick shout out to one of my first and longest coaches crew, Jeff Harrison, for letting me train and film at a new gym, New Era Combat Sports. The facility is absolutely beautiful, so make sure you check it out if you are in the capital of Canada, in Ottawa. So you never want to get cornered by any opponent, especially not an opponent as big as this guy. So here I'm trying to circle out of the corner. So no matter how powerful or big your opponent is, you need to stay calm and believe in your blocking system. Over here, I parried the jab and the cross, and then I underhook caught his left kick, cleared the foot, and usually I'd go for the sweep, but his leg was so heavy that I decided to just chop his leg. Then I saw the counter kick coming and checked it. Over here, keeping my rear hand rocked and ready to launch while gauging my distance with the lead hand. Over here, he timed my cross nicely by throwing an inside low kick to my lead leg. All my weight is shifted to my lead leg when I throw a cross, so when he kicked my lead leg, I buckled. Using my speed to my advantage, I chopped his legs. It's difficult to go toe to toe with a powerful and bigger opponent. So here I am using feints to fake him out, darting in and out. I stepped in, baiting him to counter me. When he tried to counter me, I bounced back out to dodge and back in catching him with a long cross. A quick dodge here by shooting my hips back and stepping into southpaw. Then a dutch block here that I should have normally returned with a cross but his kick got me off balance and I was unable to counter. So this is why I prefer dodging over blocking because if your opponent is powerful enough, the hook still hurts and I'm still losing brain cells. So as you can see here, when he threw the left hook and I carriage blocked, it still rocked my head even though I blocked it. Another make miss here. Over here, he threw an axe kick, luckily he missed, but my lead hand was there to deflect or block if it did hit. He then drops his kicking foot in front, switching to southpaw, and pushing off his left, now rear leg, to launch a side kick that lands perfectly. Over here, I use the momentum to bounce off the ropes into my own flying push kick. I lift my lead knee to fake, then I launch my rear kick as my lead leg lands to the ground. Over here I freaked out a bit that I bounced back like a bouncing ball. He then corners me and lets his hands go. Over here, he misses the first kick and uses the same setup to land another side kick. Over here, I slipped to the side against his jab and chopped his leg as his legs was planted to the ground from throwing the jab. I got overwhelmed by his power here and I got cornered again and he lands a left hook, right long knee combo. Oh oh a quick cross check here. Over here, I launched off my rear foot from afar and threw the jab cross down the middle, catching him with the cross. We both threw a cross but slipped to the left simultaneously, so we both missed but he followed up with a right hook and a jab, winning the exchange. Here I defended all his strikes by utilizing 
now one of my favorite blocking systems, the long guard. Another low kick off the jab here. From here, I'm just gassed, and uh, the, the round ends by him TKOing me.